whole thing wobbing, 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 wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Zerks from today with another YouTube video and today we have new signature series cards in the game. Now I don't think they're up on the auction block just yet, but it is Glover Quinn and Brandon Brooks. Now I think I actually may have figured out a little theme going on here with all of these signature series cards. Now I didn't think of this by myself, Supernova Sausage on Twitter actually DM me this and kind of brought this to my attention, but if you guys notice the first two signature series cards was a redskin and a viking now that's nfc east and nfc north now this week we have the lions which is nfc north and the eagles which is the nfc east so i think they're gonna be doing it by divisions like that so next up next week we could have either the eagles or the giants um if it's the giants then maybe we'll get like a signature Odell possibly I think they would definitely do Odell Beckham Jr. He is not gonna new card forever for the Cowboys I would love to see a Zeke if we can get a signature Zeke you guys already know I'm gonna try my heart to pick that card off the squad even though I already have 97 LT I would definitely drop him in a heartbeat to get that new Ezekiel if he is out and then of course for the Packers we could possibly be getting ourselves maybe Devontae Adams or Ha uh, Clinton Dix possibly. I don't think anyone else really could get one. Uh, maybe Randall Cobb. Uh, no, actually, I think Randall Cobb already just got a new 90 overall or something like that. And then, of course, Aaron Rodgers did just get a 96. We definitely cannot get anything. And then we do have the Bears, which we could get maybe Jordan Howard. I could, I could possibly see a new Jordan Howard card in the future coming for him. And it looks like they're still not up in the auction box. So let's go ahead and try to open for some packs. Now, if you guys didn't know... It looks like Weekend League is actually coming out today, which is Thursday. They actually started doing this on Thursdays now, and we're going to be getting this, and it's going to be like, I think at 4 o'clock now is how they're going to be doing it, but also you only have to play one game for the knockout tournament. I didn't have to play it because, of course, I already qualified, but we do have new rewards when it comes to getting the weekly rewards. Uh, this is for the monthly, unfortunately, so I can't really see, but I already made a video on that, so if you guys haven't seen that, make sure to go check that out, but... If you guys rank in the elite tier two, which is just, you know, 18 wins, you're probably going to be able to get yourself about, I, I think I said like three, 400k guaranteed if you make it to the elite tier. So it is definitely worth it. Gold one, you'll still make a decent amount of coins. Last week, and you guys can see, I only won 11 games. So I only made it to gold two, but with the new reward system, we're going to be seeing a lot more coins and i think we're gonna be getting a lot of better cards and i think this can definitely help out the market and hopefully bring down the prices of things now i'm extremely close to getting ladanian tomlinson up to the 97 overall so let's go ahead and buy this daily pack i think i need like three maybe like two or two or three more collectibles i do believe to be able to get ladanian tomlinson up to his 97 which of course would be 98 with chemistry boost 71 cameron sutton and nothing else in that pack let's go ahead and get this ladanian thomas token and we'll go ahead and throw this into the set if it wasn't glitching out. And 97 LT, go ahead and lob that in there. Purchase pack, get our objective completed. Now we can go ahead and open some packs and try to get ourselves this new signature series beast. So we have a four signature series, or four signature series, dang. Four game changer bundle. Take a look at this, contains four game changer packs for the price of three. So you get one bonus game changer pack. That's not a really good bundle. And then we have six game changer packs and a top team ultimate legend base player. Probably not going to be the 97 overall for 5,400 coins. And of course, we're not going to open any of those. But we're going to go ahead and open up some gold player packs. Probably not four like I usually would do. As you guys can see, I don't really have a ton of coins. So I don't want to spend all my coins on packs. Because I'm definitely probably not going to pull this in the series card. My pack look is not the best. But it looks like we're going to be able to get ourselves a 79 Eric Fisher. And a 70 overall German Bushrod now. I've been trying to clear my miner just a little bit. Still have 1,100 items, but I really do not know what to do with all these silver cards. I need your guys' help and maybe a suggestion or two. But as you guys can see, pack's really not that good. Let's open up one more pack, and we'll probably pull absolutely nothing because my pack look is just that dang bad. But I really want you guys' help because I don't really know what to do in terms of my item miners to get three golds in that pack. And of course, did not pull even an elite because my pack look is just that terrible. But if we take a look, and we take a look at my item miner, you guys can see... I uh, have a lot of 60 to 64 overall silvers. Now, there's only two things I can do with these, really. 
we can put them into the team silver token but the thing is with the team silver token is that you need to have 65 to 69s and i only have 18 of those so i don't have enough to do the silver tokens but we can actually put these in a set and upgrade them to the 65 to 69 so should i just bulk put a bunch of these in the silver set get a bunch of the 65 to 69s and just do as many silver tokens as i can or should i just quick sell them all but that's only 50 coins and i think i did the math right you can only get like 35k if i were to quick sell 600 of these silver cards which is absolutely insane but if i end up putting them into the set you get five for every one so every 100 of these i would get you know 20 of the 65 to 69 so i can at least do three of the silver tokens which would give me about 15k so i'm thinking i'd get about you know 100k out of all those silver cards which would be a tiny like a, a huge pain in the butt to do all of that but as you can see this is my squad hopefully we can actually win some weekend league games this weekend of course in the reward system i'm definitely gonna be trying to play all 25 games last week i didn't i'm definitely gonna trying to play all 25 games this weekend with this new beastly team josh norman eric allen desmond trufant we have willie brown ed tutal jones mean joe bruce smith Demarcus, mean joe i said mean joe twice Deion jones not mean joe ricky jackson ronnie lott and tyron matthews then offensively you guys can see it's pretty sad now there is one person i want to pick up for this team and of course that's aaron Rodgers, because uh, that aaron Rodgers card looks absolutely ridiculous and i actually do throw the ball quite a bit but of course his price is way over the top we can take a look and see the nfl replays cards they are going for a ton of coins right now let's take and see what the 96 to 97 to go for and i think they're going for like 300k for uh josh norman yeah he's going for 300k same thing with aj green and then we take a look at von miller's 520k and aaron Rodgers 630 let's take a look at those stats 92 for every throw accuracy then he has 90 throw on the run 90 play action 95 throw power 80 speed and a 90 awareness and of course we have von miller has 88 speed at the left of sound linebacker 96 set power 96 mass and 96 block shed thankfully i haven't played against that card because that would be absolutely ridiculous but let's go ahead and hit up the signature series and let's see if we can find ourselves the new SIG cards. And I think they should be up because we have Brandon Brooks up. There's no Glover Quinn just yet, but Brandon Brooks is Brandon Brooks is up with secure pass blocker. He's a right guard. Take a look at him compared to Zach Martin. Uh, these stacks are pretty dang good, I gotta say. 95 strength. So does have two more strength. 95 run block, so he has two or two less run block. 95 pass block, 93 impact, 94 awareness, 86 stamina, 74 speed, 61 agility. Also has an 86 excel, so he does have secure pass blocker, but he has toughness instead of pound the rock, which I don't know what toughness upgrades for off to linemen. I'm really, I think strength, maybe pass blocking. I don't know if it upgrades run blocking at all, but he has better strength, better pass blocking, less run block, same impact, same awareness little bit less stamina a little more more speed and he's less agile but he does have a little bit more acceleration as well so brandon brooks looks like a pretty sound card would you rather have lead the way or secure pass blocker depends if you pass or if you run more for me i think i pass more so brandon brooks may be better for me but if you run the ball more zach martin is probably your guy especially since zach martin for me is 99 run block which is absolutely crazy. Now, I, hopefully, Brandon Brooks will not go for 800k this entire time. But it looks like there is no Glover Quinn up just yet. So, I'll return as soon as there is one up. And then we have Glover Quinn, who has pick 6 chem. Read and react times 2. And the card art is actually looking pretty funny. That picture of him is actually pretty hilarious. But 90 speed, 94 excel. He's not really the fastest for 96 overall safety. 95 play rick, 86 tackle, 87 man, 95 zone. 93 pursuit 85 hit power so this card is definitely looking pretty good we can react tier 2 i think if you get into tier 4 he can go up to like 97 98 zone coverage maybe max and then of course he does have an 84 catching which is pretty good he also has a tackle of 86 jumping of a 93 which is actually pretty dang good he's six feet tall as well block should have a 79 which is pretty decent for a safety and then his stamina of a 94 so he's definitely a very good looking card i think that the signature cards this week are actually pretty good and probably better than they were last week glover quinn already six seven hundred fifty k and brandon brooks is eight hundred thousand coins that will definitely fall though but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure 
hit the like button, subscribe, and comment, and let me know down below if you guys pulled yourself any of these signature series cards. Of course, my pack look, not that good, so of course I did not. But if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time.